In this video, I'm going to cover PE and earnings yield when trading stocks. How to trade using these ratios. I have as an example PayPal stock. Now let me bring up the ratios. I am using TradingView on a weekly chart. And the first chart that you'll, or the first ratio that you'll see is price to earnings. Now, price to earnings, just like the name says, you divide the actual stock price by how much earnings they make. So this is actual profits after paying all expenses. So we want to ideally trade companies that are profitable. And as you would expect intuitively, a low PE is better than a high PE. Not always, but usually. If a company is growing at a high rate, which means their earnings are increasing year after year at a high rate, sometimes a high PE is justifiable. But we won't know until we do more research. PE is useful to just give you some quick information on how the stock is doing at any given time. Now let's look at earnings yield. Earnings yield is similar to PE but upside down. In this case we're going to take the earnings and divide it by the price, the stock price. So this is more intuitive because it gives you a percentage. As of right now the earnings yield like a bond yield or a CD savings account yield or a home rental yield, the equivalent yield right now is 5.89. As we can tell the stock price has come down quite a bit, which means the earnings yield right now is much more attractive than it has previously been. At, at the peak when PayPal was trading at almost $300, the earnings yield was very wimpy. It was in the low ones, but now it's in the higher, almost 6%. So, once we have this information, we can get an idea that, hey, maybe it's a good value now. We know the stock is down. Maybe it's a good value. Once we have that, we're going to want to go look at and get more information, like from a website like Seeking Alpha. Let's jump over and look at that. So we did a little bit of ratio analysis. Now we got to look at more earnings expectations and actually know the business better. Seeking Alpha does a great job in giving us some analyst information. We look at earnings. And as we can see right here, they expect the earnings to grow over time. In 2024, they're expecting $4.40. And by 2030, that'll be over $9. So the slope is increasing. That is good because we want a company that is growing. We can't predict the future. They're guessing. But generally, we want a company that is a bargain today and will also grow over time. So let's take this information and jump back to the price chart. A few other comments when trading with PE ratios and earnings yield. The you want to get more bang for your buck, which means anything the the market average is usually around 16 PE on the high side it's over 20 and I'm talking about the S&P 500. When you're looking at earnings yield, you want to get more than 4 and 5% cuz that's historically what bonds pay. If you can get a price that gives you an earnings yield of more than 4 and 5%, I'm talking like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that, that stock is probably a bargain, but you have to do some more research. It is paying you more than bonds, which means you are getting rewarded for taking the risk. Now that's a, a, a value investor concept. You're getting paid to take the risk. Now, you can hold the stock either forever or for something less if the stock rises and meets your parameters. If the price goes up so high that the earnings yield is very low, you might want to put a stop loss in there for, for to, to take partial profits. That's how I would recommend using earnings yield. You put, you put some investment on when the, the, when the earnings yield is juicy and you take some off when it's less juicy and you go find a better opportunity. I hope you found this useful. If you did, I will make another video that you can click on and continue learning about trading with ratios.